Okay, let's do a quick uh, drapery study. This is a really cool book. It's huge. I used to say that I used to carry this in my back pocket. Then I went on the all subway diet um, where I just ate Diet Coke and uh, peppers. You know, like they're hot peppers. Every day, lost a lot of weight and all my friends. That's my joke. Okay, I'm sorry, but I thought it was funny. Okay, so this is a really cool book and it's just full of Leonardo da Vinci stuff. And um, it's massive. Look how big it is. It's huge. But they got really good drapery stuff in here. Really good. So what we're going to do is just a quick drapery study, okay? Drapery is really important because if you can get the drapery down, everything else is easy. And it really does... Um, let's put a light on here. What it does... The drapery, let's get rid of that light. Yeah, that's better. Um, it'll help you with your anatomy. It'll help you with your composition, help you with everything. This is full of glare. Darn it. Let's see. Let's bring this one down. Okay. There we go. That's better. So what you're going to do is you're, you're not going to copy anything. You're just going to... Um, it's full of glare. You're not going to copy. What you're going to do is... Okay, we're better. One minute into it. I want to keep this thing very, very much like a studio, so it's not all polished. Okay, you don't copy. What you do is you take pieces from all of it. Now, you're going to start with arrows. Okay. The arrows are going to tell you where to look. Yeah, I don't want this to be over polished. I don't want it to be because when you start working as an artist, nothing is polished. All right, so we're going to come this way and do what's called a drop fold. Okay. Yeah, nothing, nothing's organized, nothing's polished. It's just chaos. And if you can't deal with that, you're going to frustrate yourself and you're going to frustrate the people you're working with. So I always tried. I mean, I couldn't do it in the end because students wouldn't put up with it. They wanted everything to be totally like spelled out for them but it doesn't work that way uh when you're working and if they if they had it completely worked out then they wouldn't need you you know they, they hire you because they're in trouble nobody wants to hire an artist because artists are kind of expensive and if you don't think that's true how many times does somebody say you know do you have any friends in art school that can you know, do this project for me, you know. Well, why aren't they hiring a professional? The reason why is because professionals are expensive, see? So let's have some fun here, okay? I'm just trying to get rid of some of this glare so you can see it. So if you notice, this is your story, and it's just telling the audience where to look. And the, you know, the whole reason we're doing a drawing is to tell the audience where to look. Now, once you put in these arrows, which guide the eye, which has escalators, elevators, then what you want to do is put in your cross contours and just start anywhere. So um, the arrows become shapes. I'm sorry. So first it's arrows, then it's the shapes. Okay. And try to keep the shapes as much like triangles as possible. All right, so we can go like here. So here's a triangle shape. And just grab from wherever you can see. So we'll go like this, go here. And then we'll turn. And those are your cross contours. And leave them in the drawing. And then this right here. Yeah, so again, I couldn't do it in a art school 
or in a university, but at my school, I can, you know, explain to the students how chaotic the real world is. I guess the other students will figure it out once they get out in the real world. Um, you know, God help them, because they want everything to be just so spelled out, and it doesn't work. So now, this is coming down here, and it's going here. So again, the artist's job is to be a visual problem solver. Okay? And you got to solve their problems. They'll give you, you know, they don't even know what they need most of the time. All right, so light's coming this way. Let's make sure we're all good. I guess we're five minutes into it. Okay, so we have that. And then this is going to be our lights. The paper's the mid-tone, and this is our shadow. So I have the light coming this way. Okay, and then it comes around into the half tone. And then here's the core shadow. So in the olden days, when I was teaching at the university, I would purposely screw everything up so the students could, uh, could deal with it, get them ready. Now that wouldn't work. There we go. I'm drawing on the rough side of the paper. I should have been on the smooth side. So the drapery will also give you composition for landscapes because this could be like a mountain, waterfall. I feel like I might grab this shadow from here. I'm just grabbing different parts. Try not to just copy anything in its entirety because again, in the professional world, if it exists, they don't need you. So you want to make sure that uh, you know, they hire you to do what doesn't exist. Okay, so this is dropping down here. This is in front, so we'll put in a cross contour and try to find something close. And these cross contours, they're, they're everything. So no cross contour, no drawing. It is the absolute tool. So this might be cast into shadow here. And then this is your, the cast shadow goes over, I call a cast shadow a rude shadow, because it just goes over every, whatever it's there. Okay, and this is going this way. Highlight, half tone, core, reflected light. Highlight, half tone, core. I'm sorry, highlight. Yeah, highlight, half tone, core, 
reflected light cast. So here's the core, there's reflected light, and here's your cast. These are getting even. You don't want to have even. So bring this up like that. See how the cross contours, they tell you the story. So this is catching the light there. Here's a core, reflected light. Can do a half lock going off into the distance. Now, if you go to the videos, we'll get into the seven folds. So there are seven different folds. They also are in the textbook. So if you get the it book, I go into you know, the seven different folds. And for that one, probably the best would be the advanced tip. This is called a half lock or a zigzag. And then I gotta get ready for school today. You know, our school is open global now because, you know, we're on Zoom and in person. So you can be anywhere in the world and study with us. We're having a lot of fun with that.
You know, it's fun because the Saturday class that we have, our portfolio class, we cover all of it. It's really kind of cool. So we cover the subjects in that program, in that one class. We cover head drawing, figure drawing, perspective, landscape composition, value, and color. All in that one class. We just keep going over it. And it's really cool because, you know, you don't have to go to a school and sign up for all these different classes. You just get it all in this one class. And that's pretty much it. If you, you know, if you can get that, um, you're pretty much done. I'll find some other folds. You know, you're pretty much there. Oh, don't tear the book. Oh, I put the tape on there. Let's just find some more folds. This is cool. I'm grabbing this. Um, then we also have on Tuesday night figure drawing, which is cool. We get into anatomy, a lot of anatomy and stuff. And then tonight, which is Thursday, we have uh, painting. And we just go from head painting to, you know, back and forth. Head painting, landscape painting, head painting, landscape painting. And it pretty much covers it. And we cover, you know, color, saturation, value, edges. And it's not all quiet and shy and everything. Everybody's laughing and joking and telling stories and very much a Sheldon class. So I'm just seeing that so many of the students, since it became Zoom, it just became so, so dry, you know, and everybody's all paranoid and everything. It's just really driving, just drove me crazy. So if you get lost, you go in there and put in these cross contours. And that tells you where it turns. Make sure, like, you know, with the grapes and with everything that your, all of your um, darks connect, you know, they guide the eye.
Let me just take in this little shape right here. So it goes off into the distance, so you get to play with atmospheric perspective too. So the drapery solves pretty much all the problems you're going to have. Because it gives you your composition, you know, the flow guiding the eye. Gives you shapes, gives you cross contours, gives you cores, gives you reflected light. Drapery in twenty four minutes.
the complex, simple, you know, it's all there. Okay, just a thought. Let's move on to some other stuff.